American Financing, saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American Financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress. Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Speaking of the media, you retweeted the uh, headline from the New York Times, the Rich Lowry, uh, Trump can win on character. <laughs> You said this was written by Rich Lowry, who wrote that when Sarah Palin winked during her 2008 RNC speech, little starbursts flew out of the screen and ricocheted through every American living room. Oh, my God. Your uh, girlfriend, Kimberly Johnson, retweeted this headline, Trump can win on character and joy is not a strategy, and just said, F you, New York Times. (laughs) She's a potty mouth after my own heart. Very little subtlety in that reaction. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, Just um, F you. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's it, absolutely insane, and uh, I I second Kimberly's reaction. I mean, I didn't tweet that, but yeah, I would retweet what you just said. Yeah. yeah. By the way, I you this is my of all the phrases you've used. Uh, <laughs> You said uh, he owed us billions. He was talking about how he told a leader of a NATO country he wouldn't protect them from Russian aggression. Uh, he owed us billions, and you said this slobbery dingus. I don't know why. That's just my favorite now. Can you say dingus on the radio? I think so. Well, I did. (laughs) Was president for four years and still doesn't know how NATO's 2% defense guideline works. Please do whatever you can to keep this dumb ass far away from leadership of any kind. I, you know, Lawrence O'Donnell has said this too. Mainstream media, ask him any question. Ask him if he, if he understands, ask him what a tariff actually is. Like he doesn't understand anything. No. He has no idea. And the tariff is the centerpiece of his economic proposals. It was the centerpiece of his economic plan when he was president. Bear in mind, this guy has been president for four years. He's been operating on the national political stage for nine, and he doesn't know what a tariff is. You know what he plans to do? One of the many plans for a would-be next term is Donald Trump wants to replace the income tax with tariffs. And you know what that would mean? That would mean a regressive tax against working people, you know, disproportionately affecting their income more yeah. than wealthier people. And secondly, it would jack up inflation by something like 130 percent. And I'm not making that up. That's from Nobel Prize winning economists, of which I am not one. But uh, suffice Why? to say, get out, Bob. Yeah. Well, he wants to do this and he doesn't even know what a tariff is. In fact, he's defiantly at his rallies going, I know what a tariff is. They don't know what a tariff is. I know what it is. We're taking millions and billions from China. I mean, that's the thing about, about. you know, you can see why he's scared of this debate. Not only Mm -hmm. is going to be up against a a, a fantastic prosecutor that can really drive home the point that five separate grand juries of citizens of his peers, not Joe Biden, not, you know, X, Y, Z, have indicted him, have found that he's committed crimes. I mean, and on top of which that he doesn't understand any issue. So Mm -hmm. if they drill down, right? It's. I mean, yeah. I love it. Bob Schooley said it. it. Kind of echoes what you always say, Bob. He said everything else aside, and it's a lot. You'd think after all these years, it would be a bigger deal that Trump is unable to engage on any serious issue without sounding like a slippery fourth grader giving an oral report on a book he didn't read. Every answer is that weird stew of evasion and hyperbole, and there's rarely a follow up to try to suss out if he really even understood the question. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Speaking of but, bitching about Kamala Harris not sitting down for an interview when she's been the candidate for, you know, how many days and is doing a pretty good oh, yeah. job getting her message out to, to the public, right? Right. He never answers questions. Right. That's the thing. He's given credit for taking questions. But yes, people ask him questions, but he never actually answers the question. So if someone were to ask him, like, I want to be asked, uh, Lawrence O'Donnell wants to be asked, what is a tariff? What is the two percent defense guideline for being a NATO signatory? A he lie is not a, is not an answer, even if they ask it. Right, just make up some other nonsense. That's what I mean. A lie, about sharks and boats and animal life. Right, right, yeah. exactly. By the way, oh, you retweeted the guy telling you he's going to lower prices and end inflation is selling a fifty nine dollar Bible, a ninety nine dollar picture book, and two hundred ninety nine dollar sneakers. I mean, and the grift goes on. Have you seen him with the latest? Selling the NFTs again, I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, back to the NFTs, the AI. Yeah, like Baron was sitting at uh, Mar-a-Lago with just uh, chat GPT creating a bunch of uh, AI images of Donald that he's now selling to his sucker, sucker, sucker fanboys. It is remarkable what these people will buy. They're selling like a, remember Billy Big Bass? Remember that thing? Yes, Uh that they have a Trump one now. Yeah. 
Yes. Right. R- right. Did you see the one well, now by the way? Selling the, uh, it's Trump's trumpy trout. It's right. Trump's yeah. head on like Chris's body. Did you see that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, I saw that. But they've got like a rubber Trump fish that you can buy that's mounted on a thing, and every time you walk by, it starts yelling nonsense at you. It buys that's, a timeshare I mean, every time you walk by. Yeah. <laughs> right. And I think you can make installment payments to buy it. I think that's how expensive it is. Uh, I, I'm not I'm not sure. I haven't made it that far into the commercial yet because yeah. it's so disgusting. But well, yeah, they'll buy anything. And it's, so it makes perfect sense that another grifter like RFK Jr. would now uh, grapple on to Donald Trump's campaign. And Tulsi Gabbard, they're both, you know... They're all Team Russia. It's not like even a contradiction. Yeah. It's just, ay, ay, ay. Well, mm-hmm. you know, I was going to say, you know, speaking of the mainstream media, so, you know, Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are going to sit down, right, with at CNN. But I'm telling you, this is why we were talking about the social influencer, all our best friends that we have on the show all the time, were given such access to the DNC because people like you and them are getting actual truth out there. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and and people under a certain age are not watching cable news. So, you mm-hmm. know, it, it, nobody gives a crap if, if she sits down with XYZ or whatever their latest hostage demand is, right? Yeah, that's right. And, of course, this is a, a much bigger story than it should ever, ever be. I mean, especially when you see it side by side with something like what happened at Arlington Cemetery and the gazillion other trespasses by Donald, you know, that yeah. just maybe occurred in the last 24 hours, many of which we've actually forgotten about right. because, you know, it's just there's so many things. By the way, so, uh, her yeah. campaign, that's why they're doing such a great job, Bob, because they are on it. I mean, when in this whole Arlington thing, did you hear that they, the campaign had to put out Afghanistan withdrawal facts because that's what it was. It was a stunt. Yeah. About Afghanistan is what what this whole thing was about. Uh, Afghanistan withdrawal facts. Trump, not Biden, negotiated directly with the Taliban terrorists and excluded the Afghan army. Trump, not Biden, drew down U.S. forces from 13,000 to 2,500, making them vulnerable to attack. Trump, not Biden, ordered the release of 5,000 Taliban fighters from prison, one of whom would become the new leader of Afghanistan. Trump, not Biden, wanted to invite the Taliban leaders to Camp David on the anniversary of September 11th. Seriously. Uh, it, Trump, not Biden, agreed to a May 1st exit from Afghanistan, then bragged that he didn't need an exit strategy. Trump, not Biden, refused to brief Biden's incoming team on the situation in Afghanistan. And finally, Trump, not Biden, shut down every air base in Afghanistan except one, crippling the U.S.'s ability to extract its assets safely. Mm-hmm. Do you hear yeah. any of that in the mainstream media, a fair telling of the Afghanistan w- withdrawal? You don't. Oh, of course not. Of course not. And and part of the problem, too, is that uh, Donald has his own little fishbowl universe of, of weirdos and suckers, right? Yeah. So with that, with that sort of indoctrinated following, he's able to inject whatever nonsense BS into their soft skulls all day long and create his own reality. So none of what you read actually makes any difference for something like 45% of the American voting population, mm. maybe upwards of 47, 48%, depending on what poll you look at. So that's, I mean, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, win or lose, there's an entire cultural rot that's happening in our country right now where people are disconnected from reality. They don't know the difference between right and wrong. Their, their BS detectors are yeah. irrevocably broken. And so if, yeah. if Kamala Harris wins this election, and I do think that she will. I think we've got uh, some some work to do as far as yeah. correcting this uh, entire population that's driven by disinformation. Yeah. American financing, saving homeowners over 800 bucks every month by using your home's equity to pay off high interest debt. American financing, America's home for home loans. AmericanFinancing.net slash progress.